Hello everybody, welcome back to Ninja Gaiden Part 2. This is actually some kind of apparently CIA holding facility, so take that as you will. Uh, I don't know why they filled it with boxer guys and bats. And why it's under construction perpetually, apparently. Ah, that item's points. It's just a bag of points. I'll take that, though. I need more spirit power for my weapons. Windmill Shuriken is my jam. So, Ninja Gaiden has something of a reputation as being a really hard game, and it is. Especially because the controls are really awkward at times. As you saw right there, there are some control issues with this game. It's not like you're controlling a ninja so much as it's like you're controlling a ninja who has arthritis. Like, sometimes he doesn't act very responsive to what you're doing. Ow. Sometimes uh, the hits are a little delayed. There, there's a few issues like that, but mostly the controls are passable. They, they, they are serviceable. They get the job done. Oh, I can just jump right on that. Oh, not if I fuck up my jump. Oh, come on. See what I mean about the controls being a little awkward? It's a little hard to do that jump sometimes. Oh, that was just my fault. Ah, Windmill Shuriken. Unfortunately, the Spin Slash that I picked up earlier pretty much negated all of my spirit power. So, I'm all out of it for Windmill Shuriken purposes. Ow! Let's get out of here. We've escaped the weird under-construction CIA holding facility slash boxer training camp. And we're now... I don't know where. There's a necromancer throwing crosses at me. This was the NES era, and nothing has to make any sense in the NES era. Everything gets a free pass, because who knows. Football player! Guy with a machine gun! Oh! And there's the reason why everybody hates Ninja Gaiden. Or at least why the people who hate Ninja Gaiden do. is because you will get hit by a projectile, get launched down a hole, and die. Without fail. Football players, scimitar guys, necromancers, and machine gun mercenaries are what I have right now. Also, my pickups come from killing mosquitoes, I guess? Haha! -ha. That was actually pretty good. Okay. I love my run animation. Can I just take a moment to point out that my run animation is incredible? Look at that animation. Just the legs. Just do da do la la da do da do la la da do. I love his run animation. It's one of the few things about this game I love, because if you did not know, I actually hate this game. I loathe Ninja Gaiden 1. Uh, the other games in the series are kind of a mixed bag for me, but 1 and I are not fond of each other for a lot of reasons, and I will go into them as I play. But uh, I just got some health from that big, tall-necked red bottle that was like a health potion. They are very good, except for late in the game where it doesn't matter because anything that hits you will send you down a hole and kill you. Meaning that having a health system was pointless at that point. The game, in its defense, is neat for the cutscenes in particular. It's also cool because it takes some degree of effort to plant the items that you need right before the sections you need them in, in the early parts of the game, kind of showing you how things are gonna, gonna work for you. Die, scimitar-wielding guys. Okay, onward. And we're up to the next boss. I don't know what this guy's deal is. I think his name is Bomberhead? Which, okay. Ow. Ow. Okay, I'll just hit him then, fine. I was gonna be fancy about it. Note the weird background. We've walked into some kind of ancient temple. What is this place, and what is going on? What is this bizarre statue anyway? And who was that woman? Why is there a quarter of my head missing? As I grew more and more suspicious, I went off to look for that... Yes? Supposed acquaintance of my father's, Mr. Smith. 
That's right. Our father's letter told us to go visit an archaeologist named Smith. Act 3. Where is it? It's a go. Hi. You must be Walter Smith. The name's Ryu. Ryu Hayabusa. Who? That's Sword. Oh, of course. You must be Ken Hayabusa's son. This guy's very much a... His last letter, my father told me I should see you. Last letter? I see. So it has already begun. Dot, dot, dot. Ken and I were on an expedition to some old Amazon ruins, because that's what archaeologists and ninjas do, I mean. We found a strange statue and stone tablet. On the tablet, it said... Be sure to drink your oval tea. Wait a minute, you mean to tell that statue? Yes, precisely. I thought it had been stolen. That demon statue possesses enough evil power to destroy an entire nation. Oh, okay. It's designed by H.R. Giger. The demon came to this earth and caused many deaths. But then Shinobi appeared to stop the demon. Shinobi borrowed the strength of the dragon. And countered each of the demon's spells that thus was able to overcome it. Yet, though it was defeated, the demon was not dead. So Shinobi confined the evil power of the demon in two statues of light and shadow. And the body of the demon was confined in a temple. So there's two statues. This one must be the shadow statue. Therefore... Oop. And now I've got it. Bye, friend. Oop. What the? After him, Ryu. I have to stay here and build Mega Man. So Ryu's the worst ninja in the world because he just got robbed by a ninja. Oh, here's a bird. I've been dreading these. Birds are the worst thing in any Ninja Gaiden game because they're going to try to knock you down holes and kill you. And that's pretty much their chief purpose is to just knock you into a hole and make you die. Okay, I want I want that item, but I've got to get to it. Nope. There we go. This will make this part considerably less miserable. Because I can just do that to the birds as they show up. There we go. Okay. So I guess Mr. Smith just lives on a mountain because we're up in the cold mountainy part now. And now we just swat baby eagles out of the sky, I guess, for our items? I don't know. Bazooka guy. This ninja sure has a lot of exotic friends. Oh, you are just a jerk, eagle. So, Ninja Gaiden is, like I said earlier, it's a very hard game. It's essentially... It's artificial difficulty the game, basically. Ugh. And now, I'm just screwing up and getting hit, and that's, that's perfectly fine. Bye, football player. But there are a lot of places in this game where stuff, starting probably in the next level, where stuff will just pop up and kill you instantly if you didn't already know it was going to be there. So it becomes ninja memory game. And that, to me, is kind of an artificial difficulty thing. And I, I'm not real, real big on artificial difficulty. Shit. Okay, well, that was my fault. That was my fault entirely. And I'm just going to keep going because I've got plenty of time left in this episode. So we'll see how far I get. I just wanted to introduce the game last episode. We're kind of getting into the meat of it now. So, Ninja Gaiden as a game. Is it good is a question I kind of have to ask myself. Eh, yes and no. I, I don't hate it, but I don't really like it a lot. I praise it for the use of cutscenes, the fact that it was actually telling a cohesive story, it's got a plot, which games around that time just really didn't on, like, 
consoles and the like. Ha! Caught you, football man. I, I have to criticize it for having awful artificial difficulty, kind of clunky controls, and a little bit of bad programming here and there. But I think the reason it's as successful as it was is because when it came out, we didn't have tremendous expectations for a game, just in general. We, we it, like, if this came out this year, it would have got like a two. Okay, so this guy is a pain in the ass. However, all you really have to do is just crouch and slash, and he can't hit you. Oh, unless you cock it up, which I can't. I can absolutely screw up and get hit like so, which will send me back to the start of this level. But no, that's, that's actually a pretty easy boss. I just need to go in there with a little more health than I had to make up for any little mistakes I might make on the way. Oh. Oh! Nope. There goes the eagle. Ah, uh, that's why Ninja Gaiden birds suck. They will knock you into a pit. We come upon a point where the game's design systems kind of become pointless in a lot of ways. As we progress through this stage and beyond, there's going to be more and more levels where it's just nothing but little platforms. And any hit will kill you because you'll go sailing off into the pit. So, the design of the whole health bar system is nice, but it becomes pointless after a while because one hit will always kill you because you'll fall to your death. Yes, I just sliced a bazooka shot out of the sky. Because I'm awesome. That's what ninjas do. Does this game make me feel like a ninja? No, not really. I feel like a ninja who's got like, some kind of nervous system disease. And can't really ninja very well. Oh my god. Birds. Man, they come in at awkward angles. And they just suck sometimes. Okay. Let me see something here. This guy's gonna do one, two, throws one, two, three, four, shoots. One, two, three, shoot. Okay, there's no real pattern to it. Okay, I'm all out of those. So I'm just gonna crouch here and slice him when he goes by. There. And he's dead. Easy enough. We're getting to the part of the game where the difficulty really does get a little ridiculous. After getting back the demon statue, I felt a strange premonition and hurried back. Dr. Smith! Seizure warning! Ryu, the light demon statue was taken. The light statue? Yes. Your father and I, we each kept one of the statues, just in case. So that the two statues would never become one. He, I think he's been shot, but they shaded him very weirdly. The demon's been asleep for 700 years, and now it's starting to wake up. Whatever we do, we've got to stop it. got to get it back. There's no choice. You've got to become the Ninja Dragon. What? Well, could, could you explain that, Dr. Smith? Dr. Smith? Dot, dot, dot. Come with us. We've got another little cutscene to do. Welcome, Ryu Hayabusa. Sorry if I startled you. This will be a slightly long episode because I'm not going to end it in the middle of a cutscene. We're from the CIA Special Auxiliary Unit. My name's Foster. Dot dot dot. He goes on to play Squall in a later game. Getting right to the point. Wait. I want to know why you killed Smith. We didn't kill him. 
but we'll fill you in on what we know. In the upper reaches of the Amazon, he starts us up on a PowerPoint presentation. In the upper reaches of the Amazon, some ancient ruins were discovered. It seems the temple was built more than 2,000 years ago. That flies in the face of a lot of conventional history. The discoverer was Dr. Smith, who studied the ruins for some time. But one day, he suddenly sealed off the ruins. And ever since then, no one has gone close. Mr. Smith even posted football players and machine gun mercenaries. Later, however, a man moved in and took over the ruins. His name is Guardia de Mew. He doesn't capitalize his name very well. He calls himself the Jaquio. According to our records, it seems that the temple is not where gods are worshipped, but was built to imprison the body of the demon. Okay, so the CIA knows all this stuff too, apparently. Therefore, evil spirits are supposed to be held in the statue you have. Dr. Smith probably already knew that. He was probably killed by someone working for the Jaquio. Dot, dot, dot. When a black moon shines, light and dark break apart, the king of darkness howls. Did you like that? I wrote it myself. I love poetry. These were the last words written on the stone tablet. If someone brings the demon back to life, he will gain incredible power. Enough to control the entire world. So you know about that. <laughs> it's like, awkward. The woman who shot you in the bar was one of our agents. They are after you. Use this and go to their headquarters. Get the demon statue back from them. Of course, you will be paid for the work. If I say no, You know the answer to that. Well, that's ominous. On that cheerful, cheerful note, he apparently gave us a propeller plane. And we ninja parachute into the Amazon to go and stop a demon. And on that note, I will end this very long episode. See you next time.